Verdict on your side's performance today, Gary, tough day at the office? Say again, sorry. Verdict on your side? Oh, verdict, yeah, really disappointing. Um, you know, disappointing in many, many different ways, but I think that something we certainly prided ourselves on for a long time um, as a team is, you know, being hard to play against, being hard to beat. You know, very rarely we've been outworked, outfought. I can sometimes take being outplayed because I think Norwich are a very good side. I think Norwich have, have made some really good additions to their team. Um, but they just ran with just a little bit more drive and desire and energy than, than us, uh, let alone the football side of things. So, yeah, that was a disappointment. I think to go in 1-0 down at half-time, um, you know, we wanted a reaction from the team. I expected us to come out a lot stronger second half. And then, you know, something that we're very, very good at, which is set plays, um, you know, we concede another one because people don't do their jobs. And, and three minutes into the second half to concede, where Sergeant just bumps our zone man, drops back in, has a free header, mm. scores. I think we we're saying straight away on the sideline he was free. Mm. Um, I think the players have to you know, make sure those goals mm. don't go in against them. Mm. And um, to be then 2-0 down at that point against a very good side with, a, with a, a stadium feeling as positive as it did, it was difficult. We just couldn't get close enough to them, you know. So we then had another, we had a great opportunity at 2-1. I think we pinch a ball off their goal kick and Ron plays to Z and I think slightly better touch and he, he probably scores. He has a whole goal. He's right in the middle of the goal. Takes a slightly heavy touch and I think the defender just comes from nowhere and shows the level of desire to keep clean sheets or to try not to concede goals. And then they literally went straight up the other end and, and scored to make it 3-0. So more or less game over at that point. And, and um, you know, I think that was... Probably the disappointment for us, you know, we've, we've been a very defensively resilient team for a long time um, and today we didn't do a lot of the basics very well. Even though Norwich are a very good side, even though Norwich I would expect them to be up there, uh, I'd certainly expect a lot more from my team today. What did you make of, the, up to ask, what did you make of the reaction from, from your supporters toward criticising your football? Yeah, look, I think first and foremost, I think... Um, you know, it's, look, to, I think if you're a fan and, and if it's your club and you've paid your hard-earned money to come to the game, I understand you're not going to be very happy if you see a performance of that ilk. And I, and I get that. And, you know, you can, you know, that's the beauty of football. You can react and respond in the way that you want. But as a human being, you know, to work so hard at a club for four years to, to get after three games is disappointing and it is hurtful, you know. So um, I've worked incredibly hard away from my family for, for those years and um, you know you don't I'm not going to lie here and say it's fine it's not a problem um, but I have to take that on the chin and I think in some ways I'd rather that than direct it at the players because at the end of the day I'm the manager I'm responsible for the performances so I understand that um, and, I, and it probably hurt me more the performance than that if I'm being honest you know I can accept that but not the performance on the pitch and, and to me that was probably the most disappointing part of the afternoon. Is it just football fans being football fans when at the end where you tried to show your appreciation for them, they responded as crossly as they did? Is that just a game we're in in the theatre that we're involved with? Um, yeah, I don't necessarily think I should try to show my appreciation. I just didn't want to stand there and do nothing. So really it was just my acknowledgement that that was being sung. So what, you know, there's not really much else to say about it. It was disappointing from my perspective, um, you know, I think that is it is what it is, you know. So I don't think any manager up and down the country would say anything different. What moving forward then? So tomorrow, this week ahead, what's the the, the look forward now in terms of getting back that winning ways and the feel good factor and getting back to that resilience that we all know Millwall. Yeah, I think we've got to we've got to work. We've got to show reaction. You know, we've got to probably strengthen the group. I think, and we might have to think about how we strengthen it due to some of the things we lack today. Um, I think it just has to be personal pride out there on the pitch. I think we've got you know, two young players that, for different reasons, have probably been the bright sparks of our season so far. And to me, that shouldn't happen. It should be senior players. You know, I don't want to target our senior players because we've got, listen, we've got players that have performed so well for such a long time in this division. And they'll be hurting just as much as me. But, but our young players have shown probably at the moment the spark that we need during the season. And I think for that... Um, you know, we need to see a little bit more from from the group as a whole. And um, but like I said, look, players don't go out there to not look like they're trying. Players don't go out there to not look like they're competing. Certain things happen in games that you lose confidence, and it just that then manifests itself. But 
it's a big boys league. It's a championship. You know, people don't wait for you to find your form and find your find your um, find your qualities. The fans seem to be complaining that about the style of football. First of all, it is that I've no idea whether that's legitimate or not. But you, you tell me. I mean, that, that's not my that's not my concern. That's not really my. Um, that's not really for me to answer that, you know, that's just, that's, you know, it's an easy thing, I think, to, to chant. I think it's you know, not the first time that's happened. Um, and it is what it is. So, you know, look, again, I've, I've answered the question, I think, as honestly as I think I can. I could have soft-soaped it and just said all the right things that, you know, give the right response. But I'm, I'm sat here as a person and, and um, you know, that was my answer. So, yeah, look, I, that's up to other people to... Um, you know, I think if I played a five, people want a four. If I play a four, people want a five. Um, so it's not for me to justify what I'm doing. I'm judged on results. I'm judged on performances. And I get today, I'm judged on a poor performance for my team and concede an easy goal. So I get that. Listen, I understand criticism. I understand that I deserve a lot of criticism today. And, and, and that's fine. As a manager, you have to take it on the chin. I mean, your, your style of football almost made the playoffs. I mean, by the barest of margins last season. Listen, I've been doing this job for about 12 years, so, um, you know, I've, um, uh, it is what it is, it's perception, it's people, you know, everyone, again, that's not my opinion, you know, people can chant whatever they want, I'm not sat here saying that, you know, that shouldn't be allowed, all I'm saying as a person, as a human being, it's not nice, it hurts on the sideline, it's not a particularly nice thing to wear, but it's football, isn't it, you know, we've been here where I've had a whole stadium chanting things, it's just life and you just got to get on with it. Karen? Uh, Gary, you mentioned uh, your experience. Uh, what have you done previously to try and help and inspire your team when they're struggling a bit? Yeah, and I think the, 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 the obvious things. I think you have to reset. You have to go back to basics. I mean, you have to get the basics right. You have to pick a team that you can, you're confident they're going to do those basics right and, and work. I said to the players in there, the only way we can get out of this little week that we've had where it's been, you know, if you count the cup game, it's been three poor defeats after such a brilliant start to the season away at Middlesbrough. Um, and the only way you can get out of it is to work hard and show a little bit of drive and desire. You know, that like, we're all paid well to do a wonderful job that we're all passionate about and and would probably do it for nothing, you know. So so what you've got to do is when you go out there, you've got to show that same level of commitment to, to, to want to be the best you can be. And at the moment as a team, we're not doing ourselves justice. That's everybody. That's me included. That's the staff. That's the players. Um but with three league games into the season, you know, so so um, yeah, we certainly want a better response than that. Uh, but we've got a lot of a lot of games to provide that response. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.